one Lucamus Prime here, so it is time for the next episode of my series, Old is Better Than New. And in today's video, I'm going to be covering this time another example of a children's TV show, which, in my opinion, was better in the old than the new. And this show is a show that I used to watch when I was a little kid, and I definitely had lots of fun watching when it used to air on television. And I'm talking about its old series. And this is actually a show about a very popular Among Fans builder, Probably, in my opinion, the most popular uh, builder when it comes to characters. And this this builder, where well, I personally think his shows are, are better in the old than the new, is none other than Bob the Builder. So, now you guys have got probably going to ask me, of course, what are, my, what are my thoughts on Bob the Builder as a franchise, what it means to me. So, when I was a little kid and I was watching lots of children's TV shows on the, the channel called CBeebies in the UK this show would air on television and it's of course um aired uh from from of course 1999 onward but for me when i was about four years old it aired on repeat so i watched of course the, the whole series there was 18 of them including as well some specials as well and this became one of my favorite shows of all time as a little kid i definitely really loved it i think bob himself is a very likable character and i especially as well loved all the machines he works with in, in his crew which was really cool and if you guys are also going to be asking me, my favourite portrayal of Bob of all time is most definitely Neil Morrissey. In my opinion, no one can play the role of Bob better than him. To me, he is Bob the Builder. And if you're also going to ask me who my favourite member of, of Bob's team is, that's a tough question because I think they're all likeable, fun characters. But I love Scoop, for example, and also Lofty. I think those two ones I definitely really loved a lot when I watched the series when I was a little kid. And Lofty, I could also relate to many times as well sometimes when it comes to being worried about things. Because when I was a little kid, I used to be worried about things, but Lofty found pretty relatable to me, really. And, but I saw him in the show, it is definitely really amazing. And definitely, in my opinion, is a lot of show that can, can be enjoyed by everybody as well. Because even though, of course, it's aired on children's television channels, it was still, of course, in my opinion, aimed for everyone to enjoy. Because as someone who's in his 20s, I still enjoy the original show to this day. And I personally think it was a lot more realistic back in its in its first time because it was actually done by stop motion. And in my opinion, it holds up really well. And and definitely in my opinion looks great. And it never gets old in my opinion because I think it's still got it to to this day, in my opinion. And But when it comes of course to the run of the show then, so after I of course watched the show and also saw the specials that came with it, the show unfortunately then got a change where it, it then began to use CGI animation for a spin-off series called Ready Steady Build. Now, I'm to be completely honest and say that I was not a fan of that change because I personally think the show was just iconic with using the stop motion models and in my opinion a lot more realistic. And I personally didn't, didn't really like how they got rid of the stop motion really. It's a similar issue I have to Thomas the Tank Engine where of course that show would, would use model or railways but then became CGI. I was disappointed really that this happened to Bob the Builder as well. And also there's also another show I used to watch which was Fine and Sam, but that's no video. And I was disappointed really with that change, but thankfully of course like um, it remained consistent in terms of the characters and the voices, thankfully, so I did appreciate that at least. But the worst thing that happened to the show was when it then got revamped in 2014. And this October it'll be 10 years since this happened. And this, in my opinion, was a massive mistake. Really massive mistake, in my opinion. Just a very bad move, as far as I'm concerned. And what's also funny is, I want to mention Thomas Tank Engine earlier, but it turns out Mattel actually, of course, did this revamp of Bob Builder, just like how I did Thomas and Friends with the Absolute Abomination, which is all engines go. Because Bob Builder got revamped and was broadcast on, on a channel in the, in the UK called Milkshake on Channel 5. And this... This reboot, in my opinion, was, in my opinion, absolutely atrocious. Now, I tried to, to see what this show was like. I saw clips on YouTube, but upon seeing the clips, I immediately turned them off. Because, in my opinion, um, what I saw was absolutely horrendous. It was no longer the show I used to love when I was a little kid at all. Like, one thing, in my opinion, that absolutely sucked about this series was, also, was probably, in my opinion, the redesigns for the characters. Like, Bob, in my opinion, looks absolutely terrible. For some reason, we tried to make him look like a human, like a, a more realistic human, but, like, it looked absolutely hideous, what they did. And I couldn't believe we did that. 
And also as well, I didn't like the redesigns as well for his machines either who were with him and his crew. I really didn't like them at all. And another thing that I also definitely really hated was also all the, the voice cast for the characters because in my opinion, none of the voices in this new show were as amazing as the voices in the original series because they just didn't sound right in my opinion at all. And especially for Bob because because Lee Ingleby, in my opinion, is nowhere near as amazing in the role as Neil Morrissey to me. As far as I'm concerned, Neil Morrissey can never ever be talked as Bob. For me, he is Bob. And also, all the machines, I wasn't a fan of their voices either. Now, I love Blake Harrison as a comedian in, in between us, but I personally thought he was also, in my opinion, a miscast as Scoop. I personally think Rob Rackstraw in the original series was, in my opinion, way better. And the same applies to the rest of the cast as well. Because... I was just really appalled by this change. Like, I think it was a massive mistake how they changed it. So, Mattel have only gone and ruined two of my childhood shows, being Thomas Tank Engine and, and now Bob the Builder. So, I'm just really livid about this. I'm just so livid. And there's also, as well, been the announcement as well of an animated theatrical movie, and it's going to start Anthony Ramos as Bob, and it's produced by Jennifer Lopez, his, his uh, company called uh, New Rican Productions. And... I am personally not interested in seeing this at all because I personally think the franchise is already completely and utterly dead thanks to this hor horrible revamp series. So I have no interest in watching this film. And in, in in terms of referencing Bob's iconic characters from his song, if you were to ask me, me, can this film fix it? Then my response is no, it can't. Because I personally think this franchise is beyond fixing. It's completely and utterly broken beyond repair. And I just don't see a point in them doing this film at all. But they're unfortunately doing it. And I am not going to waste so much second of my time watching it. I'll always stick to the original series. Which in my opinion is timeless in every way. And inspirational to people who want to be builders in the future as well. It's definitely in my opinion a, a great show. It's timeless in every way. And everyone can enjoy it. Whereas in my opinion the new series is just completely and utterly horrendous. And is not worth watching at all. Like I'm not the only one who thinks this because lots of other people who are fans of the original series also hated this chain as well as I've noticed. Negative reception. And the original designer for Bob's stop motion model from the original series also criticised this chain. And, and for that, his creator has my absolute respect for that. Because I couldn't agree more with that because I definitely think that, that revamping it and, and changing the designs was a terrible mistake. And that's why I'm not going to watch any more of the franchise. I'll only stick to the classic series which I used to watch when I was a little kid. Because that was like I grew up, one of the shows I grew up in, and I loved every second of it. So, in my opinion, guys, Bob the Builder is a massive example of a children's TV show where I personally think the old is much better than the new. So, you know the drill, guys. Be sure to give this video a like. Also, be sure to tell us all in the comments what you guys think of Bob the Builder. Do you think it's better than the old than the new? Let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to join Team Prime by pressing subscribe when we're coming in the future, and I'll see you all later.